Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators. Today we are continuing our Hiking Mauritius series with not uh, not duh, but trois mamelles, or for you in English, that is three mountains. And as always, we are going to be ranking our hike on five categories, location, facilities, plants and wildlife, trail traffic, and the payoff. And as always, we're going to be ranking these on our scale of one to five dodo birds. Five dodo birds. So where exactly is Tuamamel? Well, you may totally recall that we did De Mamel a couple months back, a beautiful hike. But that is not particularly close to Tuamamel. Tuamamel is more in the south, very near to the Black River National Park area. But as you can see here, it's pretty centrally located, but not particularly close to any of the main tourist hotspots. It's about an hour from Mayborg, a little less from Lamorne, and a good hour plus from the north. We came at it from Flick and Flack, uh, which is a more popular destination for tourists. But the real trick with Tuamamel is getting started and not following your good old friend Google Maps, which can lead you astray in Mauritius, and this is definitely one of those times. You will find that Google Maps will want to put you somewhere over near Cascade Farm over here, but you are going to want to come down Nehru Road and basically continue that crossing the road, and you can park down here kind of by this little bit of a stream that's right there. So you want to come all the way down here again avoid where google maps wants to dump you uh, and check out our map here because otherwise you're going to be really really lost so you see i'm going to kind of mark it out on this map so we flipped around here now we're facing south so we're facing the mountain from our car so you can see that google maps will actually give you a mark for the start checkpoint for this hike but it's already well up the mountain and no roads are going to get you there and so here becomes a little bit of the challenge when it comes to hiking Tuamamel is getting to the right spot and you're basically going to go straight then take a left and then up into the mountain area and then you'll see as you make your way up you will finally come across a big rock that's kind of standing up out of things and thankfully someone had put a cairn up here and so it was easy to identify that we were in fact on the right uh, in the right place and once you meet to this point, the trail becomes much easier to find and there's cairns and there's markings along the path. But really up until this point, you really need to know where you're going to be able to find the starting point for this hike. So when it comes to location, it is centrally located, but it's not particularly close to many of the tourist sites. I'm only gonna give this two out of five dodo birds. Now with facilities, as we mentioned, there is a bit of a parking area right there, but then there's not a lot of signs until you get all the way up here, uh, in which case you do have different markings on trees and some cairns to help you find your way as you make your way up the mountain here. And you're kind of going to follow this little bit of a cross section here as you go up to the saddle of the mountain. It's going to be pretty hard to get lost at this point. You're going straight up for the first chunk of this hike. So uh, if you are not comfortable with heights, if you are, you know, are a beginner hiker, this is not the hike for you. This is some pretty aggressive bouldering, uh, big steps. You know, kind of taking your time, helping each other out. So be careful on this hike. Prepare for a lot of elevation gain, especially early, but there, this is a straight up hike. It is hardcore, but you'll see that the payoff then is amazing and we'll get there in a second. But as far as other facilities, there are not any bathrooms. There's not much signage here. Uh, so I'm only gonna give this two out of five dodos as well. For plants and wildlife, you are in the tropics and you are going to feel it on this hike. Even just getting to the main starting point, you're going to be probably navigating your way through all kinds of brush, even though there is a clear path that you're going to follow, but it is not going to be particularly cleared off for you. So you're going to be in amongst all of the nature. Not a lot in the way of wildlife, unless you love mosquitoes. And then when you get to the top, some birds. So uh, prepare with all kinds of bug spray for this hike and uh, keep an eye out though for all kinds of beautiful birds once you do kind of reach the clearing at the top. So for wildlife, I'm just gonna give this two out of five dodos. Now we'll make a turn to some of the best parts about this hike because this hike, as you can see from some of these clips, is pretty amazing. And one of the nice things is that trail traffic, because this hike is not particularly uh, easy to find, the trail traffic, if you go uh, at a reasonable time in the morning, as we always recommend, there's not that many people that do this hike. It's, it's, it's a pretty advanced hike. It's pretty, it's for serious hikers for the most part. And so you're not gonna find a ton of people. We did find a group uh, that was up on the top when we got there. And so because the path is rather skinny, when you do encounter people, uh, you do just need to take time and, and you're gonna have to work around each other depending on what part of the path that you encounter them. But the number of people here is not too great because of the significance of the climb and how hard it is to actually find the trailhead. So I'm gonna give that four out of five dodo birds. 
So the really great thing about this hike is the payoff. And as you can see, you don't actually have to go all the way up to the top of this mountain to enjoy amazing payoffs and views. So once you reach the saddle of the mountain, goodness gracious, you've got amazing views of a huge portion of the island. Beautiful look at Lamorne uh, and other areas all around here, and it is spectacular. So you can come all the way up here, or you can continue all the way up the path to the very tip of Tuamamel, and it is a gorgeous view all the way around. So the payoff is an absolute five out of five dodo birds. So for this one, you are coming for the views and you're staying for the views. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous viewpoint of the southern part of the island and well worth the effort in my mind. Now again, this is a very steep hike. It is not for your beginners. Uh, it is a leg burner, certainly not one to do when it is raining. Like do not attempt this if it is wet. And this area does get wet. This part of the island is higher up in elevation and typically does see late day rain showers on the regular. You can even see that it had rained the day before and we were still having a couple different muddy areas to navigate here. So definitely, definitely avoid if rainy because you are going up some, uh, some pretty sheer faces here. You're really needing to be very confident in each of your steps at, a, at various points. Uh, so definitely avoid this area if it's rainy. So overall, do not trust Google Maps to get here. All trails, the app is a much better option when it comes to finding this particular hike. Although not for all hikes in Mauritius, I will uh, point out. But for this one in particular, come with your camera, get ready for some amazing views. Be safe, take your time, and enjoy this one. It is a beautiful treat in Southern Mauritius. As always, leave this place cleaner than you found it. If you have thoughts on this hike, please put those down in the comments below. And of course, like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And we will see you next time.